And I think there's some such fantastic examples in Indian scriptures about, let's say, having the total understanding that nobody does anything. And one story which I refer to often is the story of the boy Pralada, who was really tortured to no end, including by his father. And the God was, Lord was so impressed by this boy that he came and stood before him. And he said, my child, what you have been through and yet kept faith in me is so amazing. I feel like granting you a boon. Ask for anything. And he said, I don't want any boon. The sheer fact that you've come and stood before me is enough. And the Lord was even so impressed that he, he said, now I will force you to accept a boon. So Prahlada thought about it very hard. And he said, all right, I, w I have one wish granted. What is the wish? He said, I wish that no harm should come to anyone who has harmed me. And the Lord was taken aback. He said, you have been tortured. You have been subject to such terrible pain. And this is your wish? He said, yes, my Lord. Because to wish harm upon them is to wish harm upon you because you created them. And one of Ramesh's sentences before he passed away, someone asked him that if you were to sum up everything in one sentence, what would it be? And he said, love each one as if you were their creator. Which is actually so true because these are all creations in our own consciousness. They are not appearing outside us. They are within our own consciousness. It appears that there is a separation and there is a projection and there are two body minds, there are three body minds and there are objects. But if you were dead, that would simply not happen. So everything is appearing within one's own consciousness. It is so apparent. Yet the Maya is so strong that we think it's all separate from us. Any label we stick upon anyone's forehead or any object, is all in our own consciousness. We miss that point. We miss something so obvious. Whereas it is everybody's experience. It is so simple. It is so simple that you just don't get it, is what Ramesh would say. The whole show is within one's own consciousness.